Jellyfish. Jellyfish, also known as sea jellies, are the medusophase of certain gelatinous members of the subphylum Metasozoa, which is a major part of the phylum Nidaria. It has no brain, heart, bones, or eyes, and they are made up of a smooth, bag like body and tentacles armed with tiny, stinging cells. These incredible invertebrates use their stinging tentacles to stun or paralyze prey before gobbling it up. Jellyfish aren't actually fish, they're invertebrates, or animals with no backbones. Due to lacking of brains, blood, or even hearts, jellyfish are pretty simple critters. They are composed of three layers, an outer layer, which is called the epidermis, a middle layer made of a thick, elastic, jelly-like substance called mesoglea, and an inner layer, called the gastrodermis. Jellyfish are an essential part of many food chains. They are feed on smaller creatures such as fish larvae and eggs, jellyfish also help to control species populations and maintain the balance of the ocean's ecosystem. Jellyfish are often prey themselves, even for other jellyfish. They are helping our ocean to become full of life. Some species skip the polyp stage or even revert from medusa to polyp without undergoing sexual reproduction. Jellyfish help to control species populations and maintain the balance of the ocean's ecosystem. That's why they played the big part of our ocean. Jellyfish are also an important part of the diets of sunfish, spadefish, crabs, and other large crustaceans, as well as marine turtles. Jellyfish continue to sustain marine species, with deep-sea creatures like hagfish feasting on jellyfish remains soon after they fall to the bottom of the ocean. Jellyfish also helps with nutrient cycling in the ocean, as they drift through different layers of the water column, they help to transport nutrients, such as nitrogen and phosphorus, through the sea. Nutrients released by jellyfish through feeding or excretion are also a great source for other organisms, and with a study finding that over 10% of nitrogen and almost a quarter of the phosphate are the requirements needed for the growth of phytoplankton were fulfilled through jellyfish excretion. Jellyfish have drifted along on ocean currents for millions of years, even before dinosaurs lived on the earth. Jellyfish stings can be painful to humans and sometimes very dangerous. But they don't purposely attack humans. Most stings occur when people accidentally touch a jellyfish. Jellyfish digest their food very quickly. They wouldn't be able to float if they had to carry a large undigested meal around. They dine on fish, shrimp, crabs, and tiny plants and some of jellyfish are clear, but others are in vibrant colors such as pink, yellow, blue, and purple, and often are luminescent. The Chinese have fished jellyfish for 1,700 years and they are considered a delicacy and are used in Chinese medicine. There are seven amazing facts about jellyfish. Number one jellyfish aren't really fish. Number two jellyfish are the oldest multi-organ animal in the world. Number three they've got a lot of nerve that number four jellyfish can feel. Number five jellyfish sleep number six jellyfish can glow in the dark number seven jellyfish don't sting out of spite. Throughout their life cycle, jellyfish take on two different body forms, medusa and polyps. Polyps can reproduce asexually by budding, while medusae spawn eggs and sperm to reproduce sexually. Jellyfish come from one of the oldest branches on the animal family tree, the phylum Nidaria, which includes corals and anemones. 
They were probably the first muscle-powered swimmers in the open ocean. They appeared in the late Precambrian era, a period of major geologic and ecological changes that preceded the Cambrian explosion of animal life. They gained the ability to transition from a stationary polyp to a swimming medusa. The transition involves major changes in the jellyfish nervous system, muscles, and weaponry, aka the stinging cells called cnidocytes, and to accomplish this, the medusa life stage often co-ops existing. There is a second, controversial explanation for what the scientists found in the jellyfish genome. Perhaps the similarities between the moon jellyfish genome and higher animals demonstrates that the Nidaria originally had a Medusa life stage, which animals like corals and sea anemones had lost, are results. Moon jellies are also a major culprit in environmentally and economically damaging jellyfish blooms, which are becoming more common. Jellyfish are indeed considered to have a very different biological structure compared to higher animals. They lack a centralized nervous system and brain, which has led many scientists to conclude that they do not experience pain or suffering in the way more complex animals do. While jellyfish possess some sensory capabilities, they are often described as being more plant-like due to their simplicity and lack of complex behaviors associated with sentience. There are 17 types of jellyfish, from dangerous stingers to harmless drifters. A box jellyfish or Chironex fleckery holds the title of being the largest of the box jellyfish. With its body size that can reach up to one foot in diameter, it commands attention in the waters it inhabits. Its distinguishing feature lies in its thick, bootlace-like tentacles that can stretch up to an impressive length of 10 feet. Their long tentacles are armed with extremely venomous cells called nematocysts, making encounters with this species potentially fatal. Moon jellyfish, scientifically known as Aurelia aurita, are ethereal creatures that gracefully glide through the ocean. With their translucent and bell-shaped bodies, they resemble delicate, floating moons in the water. The sea nettle is renowned for its vibrant and graceful appearance, with long, trailing tentacles and a translucent bell adorned with beautiful red, orange, or brown hues. Its long, flowing tentacles and vibrant coloration make it a true spectacle. Beware, because its sting can cause a painful reaction in humans, earning it a moderate venomous rating. Get ready to encounter one of the ocean's most intriguing creatures, the Portuguese man-of-war. Despite its name, this marine hydrozoan is not a true jellyfish, but rather a colony of specialized organisms called zooids working together as a single entity. Its unique sail-like structure and venomous tentacles make it a formidable presence in the open seas. Prepare to witness a jellyfish that defies gravity, the upside-down jellyfish. Unlike their drifting counterparts, these jellies prefer to settle on the seafloor, often inverting themselves and forming clusters that resemble soft coral. Its unique behavior, coupled with its symbiotic relationship with photosynthetic algae, sets it apart from other jellyfish species. The comb jelly is not a jellyfish, but belongs to the phylum Tenophora. Unlike jellyfish, comb jellies do not possess stinging cells. Instead, they capture prey using specialized adhesive cells called coloblasts. Named for its round and compact shape resembling a cannonball, a gentle giant of the jellyfish world, this species stands out from its counterparts. With a smooth and firm bell, the cannonball jellyfish lacks the long tentacles typically associated with other jellyfish species. This jellyfish earns its name from the vibrant, flower-like pattern on top of its bell, which resembles a decorative hat. The flower hat jellyfish boasts a translucent bell with delicate, frilly edges, 
adding to its graceful appearance. This kind of jellyfish is not considered highly venomous to humans, contact with its tentacles can still result in moderate skin irritation. This jellyfish gets its name from its unique umbrella-shaped bell, which resembles the cap of a mushroom. This kind of jellyfish showcases a translucent appearance with delicate oral arms that extend from the center of its bell. Its tentacles, armed with stinging cells, trail below, capturing prey and defending against potential threats. This is Irakanji jellyfish. Despite its small size, this jellyfish packs a punch with its venomous sting, which can cause Irakanji syndrome, an intense and potentially life-threatening reaction in humans. Beware the sea wasp, for it is one of the most venomous jellyfish in the world. With its translucent bell and long, tentacle-like appendages, this creature strikes fear into the hearts of swimmers. Found in the waters of the Pacific Ocean, encounters with this jellyfish can be extremely dangerous. The fire jellyfish showcases a translucent bell adorned with numerous frilly oral arms, giving it a fiery and ethereal appearance. What sets it apart from other jellyfish species is its ability to photosynthesize. Inside its tissues, it hosts symbiotic algae called zooxanthellae, which convert sunlight into energy through photosynthesis. Named after its striking resemblance to a lion's mane, this jellyfish is renowned for its immense size and beautiful appearance. The lion's mane jellyfish holds the title of the largest known jellyfish species and boasts a bell that can grow up to several feet in diameter, with tentacle which can extend over 100 feet long. Its tentacles are lined with Aurelia arida, also called the common jellyfish, moon jellyfish, moon jelly or saucer jelly, is a species of the family Almeridae. All species in the genus are very similar, and it is difficult to identify Aurelia medusae without genetic sampling. This jellyfish is almost entirely translucent, usually about 25 to 40 centimeters, 10 to 16 in, in diameter, and can be recognized by its four horseshoe-shaped gonads, easily seen through the top of the bell. Cyania lamarki, also known as the blue jellyfish or blue fire jellyfish, is a species of jellyfish in the family Cyaneidae. Blue blubbers are edible and small quantities have been harvested in Australia for export to Asia. Chinese cuisine has a blubber recipe called rubber band salad.